Hey, hey, y'all. It's your girl, Ashes the Rebirth. Listen, I thought I was good and done for the night. I've done a lot of other things, not YouTube-wise, but like out and about in my life, yeah? Honey, I've exerted so much energy today. <laughs> the last time I left y'all, I think it was on some Activate Your Masculine Energy. Honey, I done did a few miles today, okay? And even had a nerve to jog a little bit, okay? I got my whole life today with these youngins, okay? Um, so before I go down or up, <laughs> whatever for the evening, spirit has me out here, okay? So if you're new, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'm Ashes the Rebirth. So um, if you're here, you're here because, one, there's something real sweet and and spectacular that these cards are about to say and look i got a whole spread out here because it was divine direction for this thing and i'm just getting ready to spill to y'all what spirits say download in between it all and what these cards are that spirit had me pull i will have y'all know that sacred lust from that goddess deck and then cosmic power came out y'all know that's our right now trajectory of divine masculine and feminine energy so off the rip okay i pulled from the sacred cycle deck <laughs> so those of y'all that are true to this and not new to this already know what is great to hit but even if you are new guess what we only did one reading with this sacred cycle deck so we just getting acquainted with it and talking about cycles so if you hear no matter where and when you hear in the right moment the right time okay things are aligned the way they should as guardians on six which is a guardian of your perspective say spirit yeah we jumping directly into it okay we've got We've got what is what is coming out in heart chakra energy, which is the base of this entirety of what's going on right now, okay? We're talking straight at the heart chakra. Is you got what is considered the good or the high vibe uh, or what everybody chases after, the good, and then you have the shadow, which you have to get through to get to the good, to even understand it, to grow in the wisdom, to master a thing, yeah? All right. So just to be in that space of right six why i'm saying is your mind is because we got six which we know is perspective yeah all right so we've got twos which is going to be 11 a divine thing yeah things being aligned in their divine space meaning you have come to this point for a reason right um, y'all remember from the last reading, the cosmic power, divine masculine, divine feminine, they're sitting here. Remember divine masculine at the end of that reading, we realized was giving life to a thing, right? The warriors of love have aligned themselves because of the conduciveness that the masculine energy has created. I'm just saying like spirit had me thinking of the idea that all day today I've been walking, moving on tracks. We, we were having events where we were helping the kids understand your physical ability or, or your physical activity your physical wellness has something to do with your mental wellness right and so pairing that because may is mental health awareness month right um so with the youth that i work with i had mantra signs all over the track at the high school and during their field day we just kind of incorporated what i was doing walking through doing the mantras or whatever and then come to the table we have like a clubhouse or whatever where we service the youth or whatever in the community and so like they come over and then that gives us an opportunity to talk about what are you grateful for? Like what you thinking about what, you know, cause all shit and havoc could be happening. You know what I mean? But what is it that I can do my own self, um, to create such a space of conduciveness for what I need to do and make happen regardless of what's going on on the outside. Right. So trying to get them to understand it now in an applicable way, such as just walking around a track and chopping it up. You know what I mean? Um, so all day was masculine energy, but nurturing energy at the same time, because even though we're walking masculine energy come through Zion, we're still tapping and tuned into the divine feminine, the mothering, caring, nurture as we're having these organic conversations, right? To be able to impart a thing, no matter how subtle, even if it's just times that you have to walk past a certain child, how in tune am I to walk this way as opposed to on the track this way because spirit knows who's going to walk behind me even if it's not in this hour. Come through Zion. Somebody better understand what your frequency has the ability to do. Can I calm down? Because we ain't even really got into it. We like 449. <laughs> Get into it. It's too late. You done already wrapped your hair and shit up, girl. Why is you back up high and heavy come 
that ass down, but I can't because perspective is changing. Things are getting into their divinely aligned place and it ain't nothing that nobody can do about it, say spirit. Come through Zion. Somebody needs to be reminded that what is yours and what is for you just damn it is somebody okay spirit is sick of playing around <laughs> it just is somebody below that we dealing with the number eight let me get my finger off of it you might could see it okay i want you to understand that everything that's red here on this board is a diamond right now the six a diamond the two a diamond the eight of diamond spirit is saying three here we're talking mind body and spirit is what spirit is given to me right like real energy of no cliche type shit like diamond in the rough for real. Because we grove. We lotus energy around here, right? They thought we was for the... <laughs> we was for the loss, right? We, we was for the O. Oh. Uh-huh. And done fucked around and really did a thing, okay? <laughs> and done fucked around and really done a thing. Calm down. Sacred lust is in the building, though. Katesh, mm -hmm. 26, that's going to bust to an 8. Shut the fuck up, yo. She kept talking, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm doing the numbers. I'm not even supposed to be over here yet. This was aligned with the cosmic power, but it's 8. So, yeah, you are where you need to be. Honey, it is balanced. Do you see her, or do you see the divine masculine? Honey, who going to do what? <laughs> Spirit said if there was ever a card to show these people what I'm saying when I say divine masculine has made the space conducive for divine feminine to be able to do that work. Crescent energy, meaning full blooming, meaning you've caused me to unfurl. Tonight we will say unfurl. Let me find out Miss Earth the Kid is in the building. <laughs> oh, that's sexy. Come down. I love it. <laughs> get up out of here mm, get up out of here okay sacred lust oh my miss eartha kit in the building this is my first time ever i swear to y'all feeling this lady like gone from around here is <laughs> what i feel like while she's around like oh too much but she just told me that i have to Tap into this lion. You know everything kitty, kitty, kitty about that lady, okay? Per somebody. <laughs> per the divine feminine. And I mean not P-U-R-R, -R, although you can if you so choose. But I mean P-E-R, like per divine feminine. Like who said it, who sent it, who consents, who signed that thing. Per divine feminine per somebody okay per divine feminine it could be time to per p u r r r r, -R somebody i didn't say it miss eartha kit came through with miss katesh this evening and i don't know what to do with it all because i've never felt her before but either way with the sacred cycle i'm scared to even touch it y'all because why is she here like this? So 44 comes out. I'm already busting, busting right now because we got 2-2, two, two, which is the 4 anyway. Like all things aligned. We know that's the 11, but 2 and 2 is still going to be the 4. This is a thing that is aligned. And so things have opened. We did say crescent energy. So that means things are coming into full bloom. And then we got 4-4 four, four action because it is the 4-4 four, four that ultimately opens the vaginal canal you see this is open wide full moon because crescent things are still growing still growing foreplay right number four and they doubled up on the four now that you are trusting the ancestor the the angelic guidance that you have mm -hmm. now you can trust in more than you know one area one realm of your existence right so then comes solar eclipse right after the vaginal opening because solar eclipse, the number 12, this is again three, mind, body, and spirit because this is where I create a thing. Out of all the spiritual happenings and the wisdoms I have obtained, now I have tapped into the alchemy of who I am and my existence. And so I have tapped into the creator essence of myself, not mere mortal trying to create artistic endeavors that meets and matches this person or exceeds this or is more, you know, 
wonderful than somebody else on somebody else's rate and scale like spirit is talking divinely aligned thing talking i have tapped into the energy of my creator essence fuck uh 101 ways to manifest and how to you better tap into how spirit saying that you can manifest a thing because it builds your spiritual language it builds your spiritual connection how are you to grow closer to anybody else including yourself without extended amount of times of intimacy yeah and i don't care how you have those times it could be small increments a lot of small increments of of intimate time or maybe you get for example sake say you get five opportunities to see someone right out of a week that's it right let's say, say that's it for you right but out of those five times you may only be able to meet with them let's say for five minutes yeah that don't leave you so each one of those times only five times out of the week right so really essentially that's 25 minutes <laughs> okay so split that up during your week how you want to but how intimate is that 25 minutes, whether that's two minutes this day, uh, you know, 10 minutes this day. But how what is the intimacy of those moments? Right. Mind you, you could have 100 other times out of this five to deal with someone else and you have ample, maybe even unlimited time and access. But out of those 100 times, how much of it is filled with quality, intimate encounter experience right because that's what really amounts to what the impact and and, and what is going to manifest of the creativity right uh, because something either limits or expands the creator you can limit it self-sabotaging ways not tapping into the inner child shadow works, whatever it is that we don't want to see and do and handle or what have you, right? We in a balanced place now. So we not dealing with that. But if you there, handle that shit. I'm just, we, we full trajectory right here. We going. If you're in a different place, I can guarantee you the farther back you go in my readings, you'll find the, the different places where you're going to find, anybody going to find themselves along the hill and journey. Because the journey is to love. And I'm just saying that's, that's the mission of the oracle in space that I be in. You understand? Okay. Now, we're talking about solar eclipse. We're talking, I am the creator. This is someone, this is the collective tapping into your real essence. Like I said, you're there. We're walking on the field. That is masculine productivity, but it takes the intuitiveness of the divine feminine to, to nurture and know which ways and to walk, to know what spirit is doing, to, to know that you have power and setting those intentions. I am the creator. I am the birth bearer. I give life to a thing. You understand? And I can also swallow this thing whole and cause a rebirthing to occur because the slate got to be clean. And if anybody's going to wash something away, the water bearer beat us. And so the divine feminine will rise as warrior of love in a way that sometimes seems all consuming and destroying tower moment, but could be the very thing that shakes and quakes your life to get back online. Yeah. When the water break, when, when, when real natural childbirth is happening, it is a painful moment for that woman who is physically laboring. Yeah. You are dilated. You are your full 10 centimeters ready for this thing to come. Waters and all things are ready broken. You have created a thing now. Solar eclipse. This is, I have created this and now. We end in four as well, giving us a total of four. Four, four here is the bleeding rituals, meaning I am something sacred, somebody. I am, I am, I am deserving of sacred rituals, right? I am deserving of, of being offered a thing, say divine feminine energy, because this is cycle, sacred cycle deck right this is tapping and, and speaking in the energy and flow of divine feminine energy and she is the one who is opening up so that creation even if the masculine is is where the productivity comes from and and what laid the seed and now it's that's what we said about that reciprocity like i i am offered i i am i am i am deserving of being offered something yeah 
You know how we sit something on our altars or, you know, what we feel is valuable. We will spend money or time or whatever it is on, depending on how we gauge its relevance and importance in our lives. Mm -hmm. It's not always a matter of I don't have. It's a matter of what is and what isn't. Yeah. Things are aligned here. Very clear on what is and what isn't. A space has been made conducive on some check. Whoever think they get ready to come and step nigh unto this divine feminine who is in growth right this is the the warrior of love this is eight this is an infinite thing this is the tapping into what it is that you have always supposed to have been like you are birth bearer so you are giver of life and in order to do that think of how clean the hospital room has to be or the uh, um you know your your home even if you're you know um uh, giving birth at home or wherever it is that you may be. There's all different types of, you know, um, centers and things that are available now. You know what I mean? But however it is that, that you are uh, giving birth, the area needs to be sanitized as best as possible, yeah? It's one of those times where it needs to be, you know, calm, as conducive for that female that is about to give birth as possible. So how can we mentally make it easy for you? How can we physically make it easier on you? How can we emotionally make it easier on you? Like what else is it that we can do for you, right? To make things very conducive for you because we know how relevant this is right now because as you are opening, literally real life is being born, is being created. Oh yeah, we we honor you somebody needs to tap into the fact that you are divine feminine i don't give a damn if you don't gave birth to an actual earthling baby or not you are birth bearer you are portal for the very thing called life if you walking around your head held low like you're not deserving of being offered everything that is great and grand well sis ain't nobody else gonna see it let me just talk real talk for a minute i i'm, I'm, I'm sorry that i can't even say it soft right now and i'm not sure why it's so gung-ho like this but somebody needs to hear it just like this or else i would say it real sweet and soft i swear Mm -mm. it's time to rise rise up from that because again spirit say i'm not talking to somebody who's just trying fresh Working on their heart. I'm talking to you. You don't work. Then it's a divine align thing now. Trajectory is hit for real. You know exactly what it's hitting for now. You you can't erase what it is that you've done on this journey at this point whatsoever. Not know anything can come and just knock you over any kind of types of ways or whatever. Because you've learned a thing. You've you've really balanced a thing for real. And be it as it may, you are growing. You ain't as silly as they thought you was. Mind you, we are talking about those that have made it out the mud. We are talking about grove folks where the, you know, the hedges and the, the thickets and things are all in front of you. And so only the real are going to recognize. Only those that are really tied to you from on high are going to recognize you. Even if it's darker or harder to get to you, they would notice you. You see, love has a way of piercing through a thing. It don't matter. It's nothing tougher than it, right? It's going to pierce through. So you need to quit playing games, quit second guessing, quit shortchanging yourself, yeah? Spirit said, pick your head up, yeah? Come through Zion. Pick your head up. Are you deserving of a thing? And it is in my spirit to say that it's not that, that, that this isn't an everybody word. But please do understand that spirit is talking to those um, women who are divinely aligned and you sitting with your head held down low. Like you don't understand that you're deserving of being offered a thing. I'm not talking about you can be trifling today and get healed tomorrow, okay? So I'm not cutting nobody off or no nothing because that ain't my place. I'm just saying who spirit is directing the word to. And you know who you are more than I do. If you take offense by what is real and what is true, that's more definition, more like ways for you to look inside yourself right now and be like, well, damn, I guess I do need to do some extra work because I got offense to the truth. <laughs> I, got, I feel some type of way because I heard the truth. <laughs> Cause you talking about a bitch piercing. You think love gonna pierce you. I told you when one come in the room, the other one come in the room. Boom. Mm -hmm. That's how they do. Mm -hmm. Give no fucks. <laughs> so 
going to get over it. We trying to heal around here. Okay? We trying to heal around here. Ain't nobody got time to be trying to be pretty about every damn thing all the fucking time. You understand? Folks ain't making it if they not balanced. You understand? I'm not on here for your entertainment. You think I got my head wrapped up and shit and I'm getting ready to go to bed that I got on here to entertain you? <laughs> you know, I love people, but let me tell you how me and my solitude be like, motherfucking bestie, so stop playing around with me. This energy exchange is not lightly taken or given. You understand? This be real life alignment, what spirit is, is talking about right now. Cosmic powers coming into alignment. And there's three cards from this uh, sacred cycle that I had sitting over here on the side. They were all purple and spirit said to keep them out and that I would address them at the end. So here we are at 20 and I'll address them as spirit gives it to me. We got 35, 38, and we got three. So obviously we real heavy on 333, how we just had 444, which is about making sure things are safe and conducive so that you're able to move and maneuver how you need to. This is a walking around a thing for real. This is, yeah, this is eight. This is really, again, this is the Fox card. This is really targeting more so this moon energy that you're really understanding who you are and what rotation and cycle, right? That you're not taken aback by any of the little foxy type of clever things you be trying to tell yourself you know how to divinely align and then the six of perspective in the beginning was right in the middle it's because it's like don't let the little foxy sly you know um thoughts of your own head you know stir you a different way know who you are in each cycle right even if you're not your greatest self in certain cycles at least know so you can prepare and maneuver yourself accordingly and so that those around you that you'll try for real that fuck with you for real they should be able to know your cycle but how in tune you trying to have other people in tune to your fucking cycles your emotional cycles your sexual cycles your personal cycles and you're not even in tune to them yourself you wouldn't even be able to articulate to them anything about it even if you couldn't do all of it but you, you're not even able or willing to divulge because the majority of people who are aware are going to divulge because in order to be aware of it that means you've done the fucking work and ain't nobody doing all that work to do nothing with it you feel me that's how you can know those that labor among you either you doing it or you ain't did i see you in the field or i didn't that's how a lotus gonna see a lotus that's how i know you made it out the mud and i made it out the mud because when I turned around, I saw you and you saw me. Hello, somebody. Ain't y'all checking for soulmates? <laughs> huh? Somebody wanted the ooh wee, didn't you? Somebody wanted the twin flame, didn't you? Call your sis up. Because I'm sure a real one going to tell you that this shit is still work. Stop playing. You think the whole assignment of love? It's for whatever pleases in between your legs or for whatever pleases your need to feel like, you know, you've accomplished this idea that people have embedded in us is the American dream. No, I'm not going to sum it up with, I, but yeah, I still with marriage and I still, I, 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 I don't care. I don't care. Every time I want to like back it up and like recover, it's like, no, it's, it, that is, it is the truth. Those are like cherries on top, somebody. If you ain't really got nobody in your space, no kind of way that can cover you on some other ends that have nothing to do with what I can tangibly see, it is a motherfucker in your space. That holds no regard for real. I don't, I know we feel all types of ways about a lot of things. I don't know. Okay. And some days I have to check myself and say, are you too disconnected? But I am a lover. Period. I intentionally tap into its essence each day. Ask it to be my crown, to be drenched in it. To be washed over and over and renewed in it continually. That every mark I make in the world, every step I take, every crack and crease of my smile, that every jovial laugh that comes from the soul of my belly, I'm not lying to you, go out each and every day. And I, when I say for years, it has been my sincere desire, I'm not lying to you.
But we have to begin to understand that we cannot take doses and portions of truth and put on tuck or push away other portions because of how it makes you feel. That's what this fox card is. Like allowing your own mentality, your own perspective to make a fool of you because you are allowing those sly little clever things to cross your mind and embed it and becomes a cycle all by itself, say spirit, for somebody. And so you stay in the same stagnant experience and situation as if this is for somebody else too. As if you don't believe that you are worthy of having such an offering that you will self-sabotage and lie to your damn self about what it is that you are deserving of, say, somebody. And the one guiding and leading all of this, you see the divine feminine energy is, is crowned in white, which is crown access, and she fully naked. I, I ain't being tricked by nothing. I'm walking this motherfucker. He ain't walking me. <laughs> Why? We not talking power struggle, male, female. We talking divine feminine energy, nurturing a thing, loved and healed this thing, didn't spirit tell us beauty and the beast, how Belle came through and love, put the masculine under submission. Not, not in, I'm not even going to clear it up because if you don't understand what that means, then you're not here. This ain't for you, right? So submission and keep going. That's sidebar. The people that, that, that keep on with the whole, well, let me say for the sidebar, you know, to cover up, to make somebody else feel truth is true. Cut the shit with a sword. That's what the fuck we out here to do. Hmm? Somebody. That's what truth does. And sometimes, yeah, it come real sweet and soft and you can just soak it up and you love it. And then most times, most times it cut just like a knife. But allow the old to bleed out. And homeostasis, your beautiful body will bring itself right on back around, scab it on over and clear skin again. Won't I? Because what is organic, they already done told y'all, come through ancestors, will re generate itself it naturally innately will re it'll rebirth <laughs> did y'all know where y'all was at i thought they said this was a rebirth <laughs> i'm just saying watch the prophecy right here this is what oracle look like i'm just saying say spirit okay last two and we out it's almost to 30 all right, we got 38, which is the wolf. We done gone from the fox to the wolf. From something sneaky to something solid and loyal. Solid and loyal. Why, Spirit? I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know. This is the way I'm feeling it, okay? Full, full, full clarity. You see the full moon? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see how we went from a slender, all while vulnerable body to a body, body, a little bit more body, a little bit more body, give me a little more, and getting fuller and fuller and fuller, and all the while I'm becoming more and more and more loyal, and now I'm tapping into my cycle, so instead of seeing the same thing over and over and over and over in sanity, I have now opened up to a thing, found the loyalty within myself. My tribe is awaking to me. Things are beginning to form. You see wolves create a pack and the pack goes out and they are loyal one to another. They know how to maneuver themselves, how to walk for the safety, who's in the front, who's in the back. How this happens, how that happens, who goes out to hunt, you know, and do the, the whole gamut, right? Everybody has their, their places, right? They know who's master and who's still learning, meaning who's alpha and who's submissive. Everybody in their right places, so everybody stay safe. Got nothing to do with head honcho, got to be bop, bop, bop. It's everybody knows Spirit asked us months, or I'm going to say months ago, could have been weeks ago, I don't know, about who's been called to headship, meaning who's been called to submission, right? This is more than a skill. This is an anointing of a thing. Love becomes an anointing. You got to be anointed and drenched in the essence of something to become the essence of something or to tap into and to remember that you are the essence of the something. <sighs> Again, Spirit said the bleeding ritual, understanding that you are worthy of being offered a thing because you are 
the thing. And then that's 38, which again is 11, divinely aligned to a thing now. And then we end with three, because remember spirit in these cards is talking in three, mind, body, and spirit. We went from the slender body to the body, to the body, body, where now this moon, now that I've tapped into my divine feminine energy, my own cycles, it becomes one. It becomes one. I just felt that because I just saw how spirit put it together and now the womb is open the core and heart of me somebody somebody I feel like cosmic power I honestly feel like I, this is crazy for me I never feel like I, I literally feel like two become one energy like spirit is really speaking spiritually but naturally too like marriage unto somebody like a real union type energy in the atmosphere you dig Real union energy in the atmosphere, you dig? I'm going to leave it right there. Things are being born. Maybe marriages are being born. Unions are being born. Divine, masculine, and feminine. Things being in their rightful place, right? It brings cosmic power. You get the two becoming one, the, the divine masculine aligned with the divine feminine. Cosmic power in the building, like perspective shifts of everything because there is something that shifts literally in the atmosphere, has to um, because the energy was created long before the contract had been signed long before the the Akashic scrolls have you know they've been you know like so fast fast speed like we've been waiting 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 we can go back for lifetimes and lifetimes and lifetimes 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 and like it was you it, it, it was y'all like we've been waiting like for the two to become the one because then the opening occurs and nothing but life Ooh. can surface and be born. Find who's birthing life around you. Who you coming next to that's causing you to birth some life. See, it don't have to be a man sexually touching you. It could be somebody in your office right now. You a woman and she a woman and maybe she a, in a lot of her masculine energy and she can see some things and she's always offering these different things for you to do. And if you would come together, you'd see that you could birth a thing. You understand? Check who's causing you when you get close to them where you create a thing spiritually, emotionally. And what is it that you are birthing when you are next to them, around them, thinking about them? Find out what you're creating. What's being born of you coming together with that other person? Is this a divine feminine meeting your divine feminine energy? Is this you and the other person are both balanced within your divine masculine and feminine within yourselves so you can come balanced to one another? Like in what things are born even in that, right? Check that, right? These are radars, ways for you to see like, mm, need you around, don't need you around. You see, those kind of encounters, are, it, it doesn't have room. Not that love isn't love and does things with compassion. That's a fine balance of things. But truth also beckons unto me not to deceive myself, little sly fox ass energy coming through. Right? Trying to trick me into being such a lover that I'd be foolish. Love requires that you be fucking wise first. Do you dig? Ooh. Spirit, why are you making me sing like that? <laughs> Got my bells or nothing near me my, my my angels wasn't singing because it's feeling real heavy like it's ancestors giving word a lot of times ancestors come through and they give heavy hitting but i really feel like this is really zion talking like for real for real i can't even put it off on ancestors tonight just because it's hitting heavy this is more so like spirit like a couple weeks ago when love was like i gotta make my boast i don't have time to be worried about if you can take all of this like you're gonna drown in this thing if you can't take it because i gotta dose it out I'm i'm pouring it out I'm pouring it out, right? Um, that's it, yeah? All right, that's that, y'all, okay? It's heavy. Check your relationships. Check your experiences because this is a birthing time, right? What What's in a space that seems so conducive enough that things can be born, right? And it's not that you're being mean with anybody, but in, in trajectory to a cosmic power and things being divinely aligned, spirit is speaking to us in a way of really honoring truth in its essence of how it can cut like a sword. And sometimes that shit might not hit real pretty, but 
it's going to come to cleanse a thing or to burn away what needs to be removed so that we can see the beauty beyond that thing. It's the dusting off a thing because we, now we can see that there's a diamond under there. So let's just let you be able to be seen, seen for real. Because again, we are talking to a people right now who are having some form of trouble because Spirit has reiterated a couple of times about making sure that you understand that you are worthy of being offered this thing. Because there's this the shame card the other day and then today this idea that somebody doesn't think that they are worthy of, of whatever this offering is that spirit is trying to give to you. Whoever whoever you are, right? And this is for the collective. So so everybody has to find what this is for them. But whatever it is that you are feeling like you're undeserving of, it's almost like it's it's the catapult into like this. You got the waxing gibbous moon like into this whole idea of, you know, we went from that crescent to you figuring out your cycles and doing all this work, the fullness of a thing to really being able to, to birth a thing for real now. Spirit says you are worthy of, of being offered a thing, right? And it's not being mean to scale these relationships is what spirit doesn't want me to forget to say, like, or these experiences by saying, okay, yeah, I, I'm not birthing anything here. Um, because what, what kind hearted carry hard on your sleeve, uh, sly thoughts that may try to come to your mind be shit like, well, what if they change or, uh, you know, like, that's that fox card. Like, all them little slick shit that comes to our mind every time we're trying to face the shadow work, if you will, yeah? The truth of a thing. Not even shadow, say spirit. It's not even really shadow right here. It's it's more so facing the cutting of truth for real. That fox energy coming in to make it more palatable for you, but you should be comfortable in truth. Spirit wants someone to get real comfortable in truth, not timid in it, because it's going to be hard for you to stand in it if you timid for real. In truth, Ooh honey, you better get, I told y'all, how many times I done tested these motherfucking gangsters out here, okay? Each and every one of you, okay? I have already made the call. <laughs> I ain't had a nigga hit me up yet. Talking about I'm more gangster than truth. I'm more gangster than love. Because it ain't none bread like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Indeed she said what she said. That's what truth said. <laughs> Calm the fuck down. <laughs> Calm down. I guess the masculine energy is still kind of working. And it feels like it's pairing with the divine feminine energy. It's just like a, it's a well pairing, you know? It's a well pairing. Stop allowing fox thoughts to keep you from your destiny. Somebody, please, okay? I don't want to come back on here and say this again. Because I want us to get it and, and run, 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 run with it run with it that's what we do when the tablet is playing so that anyone can come pick it up feast of it and run 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 and then go tell that somebody okay that's that on that all right one love please y'all remember to be led and guided by all things pure true and love and all things great and grand if y'all can't tell by now we'll be beckoning unto you it's been real sugar ashes of rebirth any information about me uh consultations whatnot any of my services and shit like that y'all can see that in the description box uh man love to everybody that's been subscribing um, or that's been leaving comments or that support from afar or that tunes into the, the energy of, of just the work of love, period. You understand? Um, this is not no YouTube shit like real life. Um, it for real, for real mean everything. I, I need everybody to understand that your fucking intention, real, raw, truth, for real. It can go farther than where your body ever could go. Sometimes it don't even take your money, your nothing, and you run in your mouth about people all the time. This is sidebar for somebody, okay? And sometimes all you got to do is sit your ass down, close your eyes for just a second, and just maybe say the person's fucking name for just a second and see if your heart can find some some damn compassion a little bit. Somebody out here looking like Grinch-looking ass. Like, let your heart, like, grow some, some sizes or some shit, okay? 
Breathe easy, somebody. I speak life into your heart so that it grows for real, so that you're able to fit yourself inside of it. And then it'll grow large enough that you're able to allow somebody else into that thing, somebody. Hate ain't going to win nothing, y'all. It just ain't going to do it. It just ain't going to do it, say spirit. Um, and that's not even just hate outside in the world. That's hate with inside yourself. That's what caused people to hate other people. How are you going to love yourself, but then you hate somebody else? It's impossible. It's fucking impossible. If there was anything impossible, that is. It ain't going to happen. You understand? Because love is healing and healing is love. There's no way you really love yourself and you can hate somebody else because you see the everybody in the you. Somebody talk. But if you're going to talk, talk a real talk. So then they need more love. Because hate ain't going to be able to do that. Okay? It ain't even signed up to do it. You go look at hate and be like, hey, I want to solve this. Make peace. Hate going to look at you like, bitch, bye. Fuck you, me. Who you thought I was? <laughs> I came for it. <laughs> I came for it. You better know your fucking enemy, yeah? How else you would know how you supposed to guard yourself? Even a warrior of love. I told y'all, even love causes you to be wise. <sighs> right? Love causes you to be wise. Right? Love causes you to be soft enough that everybody looks at you as a, as, as a, as a gullible fool. Yeah, yeah? And your journey to that wisdom has caused you to be gullible. That's how you've grown to be the wise one, somebody. Right? Let not your heart be troubled. The path, the journey, thus far. Be encouraged. Somebody, somebody, please. I can hear an old hymnal. Somebody prayed for me, had me on their mind. See, they took the time and prayed for me. And I'm so glad they prayed. Song say, I'm so glad they prayed. Say, I'm so glad they prayed for me. Remember when Spirit just said, sit down, close your eyes? You could just pray. You could just speak life to that person instead. You remember how the other day, the charge when I said I went to, I woke up in a new place and I was saying like, if you see a man at all, divine masculine energy to honor it on that day whether you thought it was a man that was you know not in a good situation he homeless ain't nobody he divine whatever whatever or he does this or he ain't no good dude or whatever that they're divine anyway because your intention changes and shakes a thing you are the birth bearer of a thing you are the one who lets the waters break from your well can heal the land divine feminine and two men who are tapped into their divine there is masculine that i watch right now that speak to the divine feminine in me so that whole i'm a woman and i'm a man bop 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 woo, woo, woo. we talking about the divine masculine and feminine energy please can we please can we please can we please because what you worried about what somebody else got going on if you ain't even got nothing balanced inside yourself like this is a sword cut in time i don't know y'all i'm sorry <laughs> This is a sword cutting time. And it ain't that it ain't sword cutting, you know, for, for the collective, for all of us, right? That we don't all got to swallow truth or that I swallow it so well now or, you know what I mean? But being comfortable in truth, because I know it's always going to be for my good. You better get a good grounding and stance in that thing or you're not going to be able to feast on what you going to do in life. You can't take truth. Come on, y'all. No wonder we can't heal. Because the moment you get to the part of your healing where it ain't about somebody else did to me, did to me, did to me, but I got to look really at me. Ugh, then you don't want to heal no more. <laughs> then you don't want to heal no more. Huh? Come on, man. Come on, Zion. Number 10. I'm out of here, y'all. Ashe.